It's been more than seven days since I started my minimalist journey, and trust me, a lot has changed. I slept on the same place I work. I have one towel which I use for a lot of things, and my teeth, I brush them with soap. I just got rid of the unnecessary things in life. Happiness that no longer exists either. This is not really how my life looks now. Let me show you how it went. On day one, I took it to the living room. It seems like it has the most items. I grabbed a few bags and started classifying. What could I get rid of? What could I donate? And what could I sell? I started with the decoration. From candles, lamps and items that no longer serve a purpose or I just simply don't want in the house to wall decor and items that are simply not practical anymore. Just really think through what you need. I continue with the books and my only DVD about the movies of Harry Potter. My beloved collection of items that I've been collecting since I moved to this country. Some even have deep sentimental value, like this one, where Steve-O literally wrote Matthias, you have a beautiful There is actually a small neighborhood library nearby, so I decided to donate some of them there. I hope some kid finds inspiration on Steve-O later in life, the way I was able to enjoy his art. I continue with my vinyls. I used to collect them and wanted massive vinyl collections, but that time is long gone. I no longer want to have items that just collect dust. Some of them I will actually keep, the rest I will try to either sell them or donate them to a friend or person that could make better use of them. While doing this challenge I realized how much money I wasted on items that I probably listened to one or twice, with the simple thought that it was cool to have. Last, I went through this deposit and got rid of things that we no longer needed, like the small bench or a bunch of cables that we just were storing, just in case. That just in case will probably never really come. I also took the opportunity to finally send some presents I had been holding for the past year to send back home. We're super conscious of the furniture we own and have, as it's big items that usually just take a lot of space. However, if you have furniture you no longer use or want, you can post them on Facebook groups or places like Craigslist or your local country online marketplace and hopefully get a few bucks or two. Day 2. Bedroom In my bedroom, the biggest challenge for me was of course my clothes. Even though I don't buy that much clothes, I still struggle to get rid of items that had sentimental value, like a football shirt from my country, which I actually have like three of them, or sometimes sweaters from a trip I did. But I usually try to be conscious on the clothes I own and the space they can take. So I just ask a few questions, like for example, how I wore this in the past few months, or can I see myself using it again? And does it fit my current lifestyle? And what about the climate? We usually buy and hold to clothes that perhaps we no longer want or use, or we just don't longer need. So it's time to get rid of them. I did the same with accessories, just like old underwear or old socks, as well as shoes. I've been holding to this pair of shoes for the past 9 years, I think it's time to get rid of them. It's just time to get rid of those unworn clothes, unmatched socks and just figure out whether the clothes can be put in a box for the next summer or winter, whether it can be donated or it just needs to be recycled. Day 3. Kitchen For the third day we moved to the kitchen. Now that we're in a good role to get rid of things, start with a busy drawer and move yourself clockwise. Check if there are pots or pans that just need to be changed. Check whether there is any expired food or any empty condiments that just need replacement. Continue on your junk drawer. Do you really need 7 Tupperwares, 9 chopsticks because one is missing and 20 mugs? Check whether someone wants some of your stuff, maybe your mugs can be either thrown away or you can even try to sell them. I am the one usually using this type of mug, so for me it's easy to declutter and make space for nicer things. Check if your food is not expired, and if it is, I would recommend disposing it. If there are items that you no longer eat, or you can even consider donating, just take them to the local shelter. Bathroom. 
How many sets of bed sheets or blankets do you really need? Maybe you even have bed sheets that you no longer have purpose for. For towels or blankets, you can even check with your local shelter if they need some. Go through your towels one by one and check which ones smell nasty, even though they shouldn't. Check underneath your sink, in your medicine cabinet, and dispose of all the products you no longer need, use, or just simply expire. From old shaving creams, empty shampoo bottles, and expired medicines, to unused metal items. Unlike before, take the advantage to clean. Office room. Go to your office and start by cleaning your desk. Get rid of the unnecessary papers and scan the important ones. Keep a digital collection of all the important documents you need and throw it if you can. A whole lot of electronics I no longer use. Just check whether you really need that extra pair of speakers or that old camera you no longer use. You can try and sell them or even take it to the recycle center. Go over every drawer, just check what you no longer need. Digital. This is when you start feeling the impulse of the previous days and you start going beyond. I previously made a video on digital minimalism for your phone, but you can go an extra step and delete your pictures, delete all the screenshots you no longer need, go to your computer and clean your desktop from unwanted files. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like it and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you.